So I um, chose to study at Queen Mary because I liked the campus. It felt like a community when, to, when I went to a taste a day. Um, and I chose mathematics because I liked maths. After going to a taste a day, I realized that maths was actually something I wanted to do for the next three years. I was also considering psychology, but I didn't like it as much. And I knew that mathematics would be a good path to take once I start university. Um, I studied psychology, business and uh, maths at um, sixth form. Um, and I didn't take further maths because my sixth form didn't offer it at the time. And I just didn't think much of it until I done my research and realized that uh, most Russell Group universities require a further maths A-level. So um, a good thing about Queen Mary was that they didn't require a further maths, which was so nice. Um, of course, I felt a bit anxious that I would be in a disadvantaged position because I didn't take further maths, but that was not the case at all. So in first year, um, there were compulsory modules. In every year, you have eight modules. Um, in first year, everything compulsory. In second year, um, two of the modules are compulsory. And in final year, nothing is compulsory. So all the eight modules are elective. But in first year, um, there were modules to ease the transition from sixth form to university. So essential mathematical skills was a module to revise your A-level skills, A-level content, um, and you need that module um, in order to progress to second year. Uh, another really nice module they um, specifically made for first year students uh, was number six and functions, where we um, covered proofs and other mathematical content to make sure that everyone, everyone was on the same level. And another nice thing about number sense of functions was that we got to meet with our, our um, academic advisor every week. It was just a nice way to um, get to know our academic advisor as we, um, we, we, had, we had regular meetings with him or her throughout our course every semester. Introduction to algebra was a nice module to um, make sure everyone was on the same level. So, for example, I didn't study complex numbers in my A-levels, but uh, within an introduction to algebra, I, um, I had to study it and it was nice to make sure I knew um, everything um, my um, other peers who studied further maths knew. So, um, as I briefly mentioned, you will have an academic advisor um, if you have any um, questions, you can meet with him or her. But alongside that support, um, Queen Mary has two uh, schemes or programs specifically for first year students. One being the body scheme where you get allocated a person from first or second year from your um, course, from, from the same school. Um, and that person will help you, advise you. If you have any questions, you can contact them. Um, if, you, um, if you don't want to contact um, a staff member, you can contact them, just another student. Um, and they will take you around uh, on your first day uh, or first week around the campus as well to make sure that you are um, comfortable with everything. Um, and PASS is um, a scheme, uh, a program where you can um, go to academic support. Second and third year students will be there to, to support you if you have any questions relating to content. Um, if you are stuck, they will be able to um, help you and guide you with that. Once you are in second and third year, you can actually become a past mentor, which is great. Um, it's um, a great way to boost your employability skills. Alongside these support um, schemes or programs, um, there is the advice and counseling um, department as well. Um, they can help you or guide you to the right service. Um, but also we have um, academic, um, sorry, um, a student support officer as well in the School of Mathematics um, who can help you with um, a lot of uh, a range of tasks such as time management as well because um, when you start university you will soon realize that uh, you will not have a timetable a set timetable like um, in um, school so moving on uh, speaking of timetable I thought it would be a great a great thing to show you uh, a timetable for a semester so as you can see this is very different than a school timetable um, the dark blue time is lecture time a lecture is where a lecturer is giving you the content and you're taking notes but you can also ask questions in breaks or at the end of the lectures 
um, the light blue section is a tutorial where you work through um, a problem sheet with the PhD student or your academic advisor or the lecturer himself or herself. Um, and all the white spaces along um, the timetable is free, a free time for independent study. So it is important to make sure that you manage your free time or independent study effectively. Um, of course, there are other opportunities for contact hours as well. Lecturers who um, they have hold um, office hours every week, but you can also um, book one-on-one -on -one appointments with them if you have a specific questions about the content they covered that week which is just great. And as you can see on Wednesday, um, this day is um, sometimes it's off or sometimes, the, um, not sometimes, it's always actually, the afternoon is, afternoon is always free for career events. Um, I thought I, I would want to um, highlight um, some of the things um, throughout my course. So one thing I really liked about my course was that I was able to um, change some of my modules. So in first year, everything was compulsory, which was great. I realized what I didn't like and what I liked about mathematics and specific parts of maths. So I realized that stats was not for me. So um, I chose modules in second and third year to reflect this. So I stick with pure maths and computing modules, uh, which I really liked. Because of these computing modules, I got to learn Python, SES, um, which is great. Um, along my course, I had, I had the, um, the luck to study for certifications as well. So I completed the Excel Core and Expert certifications, and I'm currently studying towards my SES based programming certification, which is just nice extra way to differentiate myself from other students. Um, and my favorite, favorite, favorite module was linear programming and games in second year. I'm writing my dissertation on this uh, module right now. And I recommend this module to everyone. Um, it was just a really nice module. Um, linear programming is basically about optimizing uh, a program to make sure that the constraints are met, but you still find the optimal solution. And the second part of this module was games theory. Um, some of you might have um, covered this in economics, I believe. It was just a nice module overall. Um, I highly recommend it to everyone. Finally, I would like to um, cover career opportunities. As Queen Mary, I put um, a lot of um, attention to careers, uh, which was great. When I started university, I was just happy that I got to university. And in first year, I, to be honest, I did neglect career opportunities at the event, uh, which I came to regret in second and third year. But I did try to make up for my lack of um, involvement in first year. So um, I completed QTaster, which is a program the careers department uh, runs for students. You get to visit employers in their offices, in their headquarters. I visited Barclays, um, ASOS, a publishing company as well, and KPMG. Um, it was just a great way to narrow down all my options and just make sure um, I knew what I wanted um, in a career and what I did not want from a career and what path I liked or not like as much. In my final year, I was lucky to participate in Q Consult, which is an award-winning program. I worked as a consultant for a technology startup um, along with five other students across the university. So I um, got to meet with them, get to know them, um, it was just a nice way to um, get to know other people across um, Queen Mary um, and learn about their courses as well. It was very interesting. I had people from geography, economics, um, law. It was nice um, to, to compare our degrees. Um, I know some other people who completed their Q Consult program with um, companies such as IBM or FDM, which is a consulting company, but also with local businesses and charities. One being the Pizza Room. I really recommend um, visiting Pizza Room once you join Queen Mary. It's a great place uh, to get pizza, uh, which is, it was just nice. At the end of the program, we had our presentations in front of our clients. And in my case, my client um, actually used the information uh, we were researching as they started their company in January 
and it it was just a nice um opportunity to make a difference in in that business throughout the year um, the careers department runs events um, presentations um, talks from professionals alumni events is it is just a great way to make sure um that you are you are still interested in that career um get to know other people network with professionals it, it is just a nice event um nice um incentive um the careers um, but also along these events and programs, you can um, book one-on-one -on -one appointment with the careers department and math careers consultants. Um, the math careers consultants have drop-in sessions as well, so you don't even need to book one, um, book a meeting with them. So that's nice if you have a really last-minute interview. So in these interviews, I'm sorry, in these appointments, you get to um, visit your CV, make sure that the C your CV is on. Um, is very good you can um, go over interview skills as well which is just nice to make sure that you are fully prepared for your upcoming interviews i use this service as well before my assessment centers um, throughout um, my student life i had a part-time job as a um, student ambassador it was a really nice opportunity to uh, work on my skills and along my paid um, jobs, um, I was volunteering as well. As a welcome crew member, I was helping um, first year students to move into campus. And because of this opportunity, I got to participate in QM Skills Award, where I was trained um, to, um, to have a work, workplace first aid training, which was nice. And just another thing which, uh, which is different uh, than um, unusual and it's just a different thing to differentiate me from other candidates when applying to um, internship opportunities or graduate placements. Thank you so much for listening. Um, as always, if you have any questions, free, feel free to contact the matter QMULAC.UK email address. Um, thank you for joining me.